Welcome to today's show where I'm going to be talking about the latest announcement, Voltron, from the LEGO Ideas line. It is, after a long wait, it has finally been announced. It is finally actually going to be on the shelves for you to buy. Now, I'm not just going to talk about Voltron. When it comes out, there will be seven idea sets on the shelves all at once. That's the most that there's ever been in the history of LEGO Ideas. So I'm going to talk a little bit about which ones you need to buy because they're going to be retiring by the end of the year. And then lastly, what about those idea sets that have already retired? How are those performing in terms of holding their value in terms of maybe going up in value? So for your collectors and investors, we'll talk about that third. But first, most importantly, what do we know about Voltron? Well, we know it's going to cost $180 in the United States. It's more expensive in Europe. In the predictable places, it's less expensive by a little bit in Canada. And it has 2,321 pieces. That's more expensive than the old fishing shack, and it is more pieces than the old, old fishing shack, so it will be the biggest and most expensive LEGO idea set that they've ever put out. Its height, according to the LEGO literature, is 15 inches. I'll be curious to see how big it really appears in person. Now, 15 inches, to me, I thought, ooh, that seems a little small for $180, but how big is it really gonna be? Well, 15 inches comes to about here on the old fishing shack, so it obviously will be seem massive compared to that. But what about compared to this NASA rocket? Well, if we set the NASA rocket up here, 15 inches is right about here. So it's gonna seem small compared to the NASA rocket. We'll just have to wait and see what it appears like when it's built. Of course, it's gonna have a sword that is 11 inches long, which is big. And it is going to come out for you VIPs on July 23rd, 2018, and for general consumption on August 1st, 2018, at least in the United States. So let's take a little bit closer look at what you get. So let's take a look at the front of the box. Interestingly enough, see it has the 16 plus age designation on it because it has so many more pieces. Crazy build techniques. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Then you can see the back of the box, how the lions separate. It's not obvious exactly how that mechanism works yet, but we will soon find out in a little less than a month. And then let's take a look at some of the lions. Now, when we're talking about how big it was before, go ahead and take a look at the black lion. And you can see that. Now, supposedly it's eight inches long. Well, so an eight inch long lion is going to be as big as this car. Well, it's supposedly six inches tall. Well, of course, that includes the legs, but that's like adding on another car for six inches tall, but it's five inches wide. Well, that's like adding on another car. So that is a massive torso. Now, of course, that will include the legs on that black lion, so it may not be quite this massive, but you're starting to get an idea of how thick, how, how bulky maybe this Voltron really is going to be, something like that. And then go ahead and take a look at the, we'll go through the other Lions, they're going to be a little bit smaller, obviously, so they're going to be seven inches, six inches, eight inches, you know, so they'll all be about that size, but the other lions will be skinnier, not quite as bulky as the main guy. All right, so what did you think? Are you going to buy it? Are you going to get it right on release day? I will probably get one. Probably that's it. Hopefully they have a good uh, promo on, on that release day. Is it going to be hard to get? Well, it might be. It was the quickest set to 10,000 votes on the LEGO Ideas set ever. It like took three weeks or something like that. It was crazy fast. Is it going to be crazy like the Saturn V with really limited availability? I don't think so. I don't think there will be the big fan base of people who grew up in the 80s watching cartoons. There will be the fan base of the people who grew up in the 80s watching cartoons who have kids who have seen the reboot on Netflix. But beyond that, how much appeal is there going to be to have this $180 mech crazy lion looking animated sort of thing? Don't know. So I don't think availability will be that difficult. And for the long term, I will probably only end up with one. I'm finding less and less that I want to buy a second or a third to keep on my shelf for later. Lots of times I'm just buying one. So are you going to buy it? Do you think it's the coolest thing ever? Maybe it is. I'll bring you a review of the actual build as soon as I can. All right, so let's move on to the rest of these idea sets. So 
seven idea sets are going to be out starting August 1st. That's more than has ever happened in the history of the LEGO idea. So let's take a look at all the LEGO set, all the idea sets that have come out. And you can see, it seems like the ideas platform has been around forever. Really, it's only been about six years that we've, that LEGO's put out these idea sets. And you can sort of see in the beginning, it was sort of sporadic. This chart can be a little deceptive because some things like the Minecraft were essentially retired, then they came back. So they had a long shelf life. Ones like the uh, exosuit seems like it has a short shelf life, but it was available below retail for like four years, right? So some of these early idea sets, there's spurts and, 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 and lack of availability and then over availability and short at launch and then plenty after launch and glutting the market. So really, really crazy early on. Um, and you can see it sort of is evened out a little bit, the more predictable as you go along. And so that brings us to what Lego sets, what idea sets do you think are gonna retire this year? Or what do I think are gonna retire this year? Well, if you look on that list and you get down to Adventure Time, right? So there's Adventure Time. That should have retired last year. And you'll notice a lot of these retire sets retire again in December. Lots of the ideas are actually a little bit earlier, a little bit in November, but you can see it's pretty predictable. The average availability is only 14 months for the average idea set. Um, Adventure Time should have retired last year. It was on sale at Lego in December. It never sold out. It never went to call to check. It never, it never went to back order. So I guess it just hung around. Um, so here it is, it's sure to be gone after this year. That will not be here <laughs> anymore. Next one, really the oldest after Adventure Time is going to be our Apollo rocket. Probably that is going to be done by the end of the year. It could be like the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and go for an entire extra year. That is a complete possibility of the set just because it has been so popular throughout its lifespan. But if you like to take risks, you can wait. If not, I would probably grab one sooner rather than later. And then we have another crazy one with the old fishing store. I mean, it's really too bad that the other series in these lines didn't get approved. I think they got to 10,000 views just too quickly. And I guess they didn't want to take this one off the shelf or have it with the, the other lines that, that this Robin Ann did. Um, what is it going to do? I really think it's probably going to be done this year. I think it's been, it's a great set. It's probably been a good seller, but it hasn't made huge waves as far as I can tell. Women of, Women of NASA, probably also done this year. Again, if you look back at some of these just straight minifigure sets, like the Research Institute that lasted for a super short time, I would put that more towards Research Institute availability than Ghostbusters Ecto-1 availability. And then lastly, sort of the, maybe the surprise, could be the ship in the bottle. Sometimes these idea sets are done really quick. I would guess the ship in the bottle will go till 2019, uh, probably in, in December or November, or October in 2019, but it could be an early retirement. And then of course there's Tron, probably not too much concern. You probably have an extra year for that. And then of course Voltron is after that. So that's what I expect for, for retirement. I would guess Fishing Store, Adventure Time, NASA, uh, the women of NASA, and maybe, maybe ship in a bottle. And what about the idea sets that have retired? Well, if you look at a couple of those on that list, like the Hayabusa, the Minecraft, which had a crazy, crazy run, or the DeLorean or the Mars Curiosity Rover, those have been incredible performers at one time or another within their retirement life. But what about the more recent ones? I'm going to skip some of the, some of the middle ones because, you know, Exosuit, Research Institute, but let's go to ones where it's a little bit more recent, a little bit more predictable. We can go a little bit, um, make a little bit better assumptions because all those older ones are really a case by case basis. So we're going to go for the ones that retired about 18 months ago. And so you can see Ghostbusters, Big Bang Theory, Wally, Doctor Who, and The Maze all sort of retired about 18 months ago, which would have been October, November, December of 2017. And what have they done? Well, some have gone up in value. Some have gone up a lot more in value. Is there any rhyme or reason to it? Supply, maybe. Maybe people didn't pay as much attention to Wally. -E. Maybe people didn't pay as much attention to The Maze. The Maze was a very short production run. So maybe why those ones are worth more. 
Ecto-1 was a great set, but it had a huge long availability. Um, Big Bang Theory, I never thought would, those minifigure based sets, you know, I, I didn't put, I only ended up with two of those. Um, Doctor Who, I thought would be great just because I knew a lot about Doctor Who. I guess a lot of people didn't know about Doctor Who, so maybe again that was a more niche one. But it's still young. We can still, there's still lots of time to see maybe these sets will do better in the future. And then what about the ones that have most recently retired, which are the uh, Beatles Yellow Submarine and the Caterham 7. And those, you can see, have only been gone for, retired for six months. And, you know, it's like you could just buy them right off the shelf. So what's going to happen with these ones that I think are going to retire now? Completely, completely unknown. I have no idea. Honestly, I ended up with two of these. I have a few more of these just because they've been on sale. Old Fishing Store never really been on sale, so I have one. NASA Rocket is probably one of my favorite sets ever, so I have a bunch of those. But it could be for a whole nother year, so that could be a, a really risky to have a whole bunch of them. Fish in the bottle, or the fish in the bottle, ha. Ship in the bottle, that I think could be a surprise one. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but a, you know, if you're investing in these sets, if you're collecting in these sets, really building them, you can see they're just so neat to build and investing just may not be so great in these anymore. All right. Well, thank you for watching until next time. Leg on.